Hi friends, welcome to this video. My name is Sophie Ray and I am a somatic coach, yoga teacher and artist. And in this video today, I invite you to join me in a short movement sequence to try and help spark joy. Research has shown that there are specific movements and certain types of movement that do help to Im uh, invite joy into our body and make us feel more joyful. And we are going to practice in a somatic way. So to do that, we slow it down and we really pay attention to the internal internal to the internal sensations in our body. How is our body responding to it? Is there any way that we need to adapt to make it feel uh, accessible for us, to make it um, feel more safe or safe enough for us, depending on how we are, what we've got going on, and to rest when you need to, and to maybe decide to move a little bit quicker or slower. So it's all about paying attention, being aware of how your body feels in the moment and what can you do to support yourself in that moment. So that is one way of practicing somatically. We can also practice somatics in a, a more freestyle way, so not following along. And this is essentially a little bit of freestyle as well. So you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Um, you can find your own rhythm and see how does it feel in your body? Does it spark a little bit of joy? So make sure that you've got space around you. You might want a yoga mat, but it's not essential. And just make sure that you haven't got anything around that you're gonna knock and, and, and break. <laughs> uh, but it is up to you how much you, you move and how much you don't move. So yeah, something to pay attention to. You might also want to put a little bit of music on, so if there's a, a song that really makes you feel happy, that helps to bring that little bit of joy, feel free to put some music on, but you can also try this without music and see what happens. So it, then you can kind of decide, is it the music that is making me feel joyful or is it the movement? And it's just something to be curious about and, and to explore. So let's find a little bit of space. We're going to step the feet just a little bit wider and we're just going to start to move from foot to foot and get a little bit of a sway going in the shoulders. And I'm starting to lift one heel and then the other as I shift from foot to foot. And I invite you to start checking in with your breath. So you might notice that you're arriving here and you're holding your breath. So maybe you take a few deeper inhales down towards your belly button and then let it out through the mouth. In through the nose, down towards the belly button and out through the mouth. Shifting from side to side, foot to foot, and starting to get a little bit of a sway with the arms. And you can swing your arms round from side to side, letting your arms feel really loose. Start to pay attention to your feet pressing into the floor, so that feeling of stability underneath your feet. The floor is there to hold you, to support you, to ground you. And we can shift from side to side, letting the knees be nice and soft, loose through your arms, your shoulders. Starting to breathe in and out through your nose if that feels available. And you can be swinging your arms round from side to side, or maybe you Start to get a little bit of a kind of figure of eight movement going. And your hips can be moving from side to side, so letting them be loose. 
And if this feels a little bit too much, you can ease off and you can take it even slower. You might even close your eyes or allow your eyelids to be heavy so that you can start to tune in and turn inwards a little bit more. And these are things that we can explore, going just that little bit slower, letting your arms float through the air, keeping it really soft, almost effortless. Even if it doesn't feel effortless, just bringing that intention into it as much as you can. So I like to move a little bit quicker. I'm just gonna get, let my arms swing and just watch out for any walls around you. And I'm gonna to start to pick my feet up, stepping from foot to foot. And let's start to bring it back through to center, grounding down through the feet, letting your arms hang heavy, come back to center, and you might bob a little side to side. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Make sure that you are breathing and take a moment to check in. How does your body feel after that? Maybe you notice your heart beating a little bit quicker. Maybe there's a little bit more energy going, running through your body. I feel a little bit more alive. There is a spark of something, a little bit of energy there. Root down through both feet, keep that softness in the knees. And let's reach the arms up, reach to the sky. And you might even look up here, spread the fingers. And then let's float the arms down, reaching your arms up, maybe taking a breath in. And then exhale, float the arms down. Keep that going, find your rhythm, but there's no rush. Maybe tuning into the shoulders. And as you're reaching your arms out wide, sensing that space across the chest, the upper back. And as you reach up, that length down the sides, of your rib cage, your waist. And you can keep going like this. And as I reach up, I like to just take a moment to be grateful for the sky. So if you are, you could do this outside, um, but even if you are inside, we know that the sky is there and we take a moment to just be thankful for the air, the sky, the birds, the clouds. If that resonates with you, you're welcome to uh, try that gratitude practice as you do this. So this is one option, taking a few more rounds of this. But if you want to, you can take it into a forward fold, you can bend your knees and you can take it all the way down. Maybe your hands come down to the ground, but don't worry if they don't. I like to bring my hands down and just take a moment to feel the earth with my hands. And again, express a little bit of gratitude for the earth. Press down through the feet, rise up, sweeping your arms overhead and then floating down taking your arms out wide, or you can explore reaching up through the center and down through the center. But thinking about creating space through your body, space to breathe. Releasing any gripping, holding, resistance as much as you can. But taking it at your pace and keep focusing inwards, keep checking in. If anything isn't feeling right, you can pause, you can stop, check that you are breathing. The 
let's make our way back to center one more reach up if you are uh, just taking that final one and we will meet back in the center pausing here checking in how did that feel Let's get a little bit more movement going through the legs and the feet bouncing from side to side this time. Arms hanging heavy. And if you've got music on, you might already be feeling that music through your body as well. So maybe it's your favorite song and maybe you can be bouncing and dancing to that song. Swinging your arms and you can bounce on the spot you can bounce from foot to foot let your hips swing maybe even get your arms up reaching out to the side flicking your fingers so that's if you want to take it a little bit more energetic but if you want to slow it down feet could be grounded and you're flicking your arms up and out. And I like to channel my inner child here. So if that feels safe for you to do, maybe you channel your inner child, your inner five-year-old or seven-year-old. How would they move here with that complete freedom carefree doesn't matter what it looks like it's all about how it feels flicking out to the side letting your arms come down we're going to spread the arms out wide take a breath in and as you breathe out, let's wrap our arms around us. Give us, give ourselves a nice big hug. Breathing in, open up. Breathing out, crossing the arms the opposite way. Give yourself a big hug. Breathing in to open. And breathing out to give yourself a big hug. One more breath in to open up. And one more breath out. To give yourself a hug, hold it here. Maybe there's a little sway from side to side, a rock of the shoulders. Feeling your hands on your shoulders or your upper arms or maybe around the sides of your body. Breathing slow and steady. Let's reach our arms out wide. Make sure that you've got space around you. Um, we are going to swing our arms. And if you are okay with twirling, you can twirl here. But if you feel dizzy, you can stop. You can come back to center. We're only going to do that a few times. Let's see how it feels. Back through to center and pausing. So these are all suggestions. You can try them. Not everything is going to feel good for each of us, you know, so that you choose the ones that you feel do spark that little bit of joy. Let's march from side to side, kicking heels to bum.
And one final movement. We're going to plant the feet down. We're going to sweep the arms up to one side. We're going to sweep them down through centre, take them over to the other side. As you come through centre, you can be bending the knees, sinking the bum back into a squat. Or you can stay lifted through centre and not come into a squat. Let's take one more each side. Come back to centre, root down through the feet, take a shoulder roll. Eyes open or closed here. And once again, check in. How did that feel for you? Noticing those sensations that are present. And whether you can sense that feeling of joy, that presence of joy. Turning your head from side to side. Slowing down. Slow, steady breath. And inviting in any final movements. Just to help cool down if you were moving a little bit faster. Or ease out any little bits of tension or tightness that might have crept in. Rolling the wrists, the ankles. So I really hope that you enjoyed this practice. Let me know how you get on. Try it with music, try it without. And I hope that this sparks a little bit of joy for you. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Thank you.